Hi, I'm Mark Hausman, and I'm the Museum Director for the Washington Historical Society, and thank you for taking a couple of minutes to watch our presentation about uh, the current conditions of the Historical Society Museum's building and some of the things that we would like to do to improve that. Uh, we have been in this building since 1995. It's the former Presbyterian Church building. And at the time, uh, we did a major capital campaign, and we made quite a few improvements to the building. However, believe it or not, 1995 has been 25 years ago, if my math is correct. Well, 26 years ago, actually, now. And so the time has come to make some improvements to the building, and we've taken a good hard look at uh, the place, both inside and out, and we have some things that are really, really necessary uh, that need to be done, as well as some things that we would really just like to do. Uh, let me begin by saying that for the most part the building is in really, really good shape. But uh, like any, anyone's home or business place, there's always room for improvement. And so I want to talk to you about some of, the, some of the major issues and then some of the other things that we would like to do to make the building more pleasing as a museum. Much of the roof of our structure uh, is in good condition. Uh, the south side of the building has a new roof as of about eight years ago, and we have absolutely no issues with that. Um, however, the south end of the building, the wing uh, closest to the parking lot, the roof is in really poor condition. It's a metal roof, standing seam, and as you can see, it has some issues uh, beginning with rust. Uh, the roof on this part of the building has leaked since we purchased the structure in 1995. Uh, literally from where I'm being recorded right now in my office uh, a couple of years ago, part of the ceiling literally collapsed uh, and, and missed hitting me by about two feet. So uh, it is definitely past time to be replacing this roof. And this of course has a pretty high dollar price tag along with it. While we're up high on the building, let's talk a little bit about the soffiting. Uh, we do have a hole uh, in the soffiting on the east end of the building uh, that has enabled squirrels to infiltrate uh, the attic above the second floor uh, or the old sanctuary part of the, of the building. Uh, this, of course, is, is completely unacceptable but cannot be fixed without some attention to the softening. Also, you'll notice that uh, the guttering uh, is, is quite interesting and, and architecturally almost unique these days and that is because on this portion of the building the guttering and uh, uh, downspouts date to 1916 uh, which is when the building was constructed so uh, many of, of the gutters and, and downspouts are beyond repair uh, they are rusting out and um, while they will carry water, <laughs> some of them are directing water more into and toward the building than away from it. On the subject of drainage, we did address a couple of years ago some major drainage issues that we were experiencing on the south side of the building. We were getting a lot of water seepage into the library and into the workshop uh, rooms, and uh, we were able to, to correct some of that by re-landscaping the front lawn. Uh, we had to remove a lot of the uh, decorative uh, landscaping that was was there so that we could re-sculpt the lawn uh, so that the water would actually run away from the building. However, some of this uh, has been a temporary fix and some of the building uh, still has the evidences of the water damage, including uh, some major areas of staining on the carpeting uh, in the lower level of the building as well as some blistering of, of plaster on the upper level where we've been unable to keep uh, water successfully away from the building. Uh, windows throughout the building were replaced uh, shortly after we purchased the structure in the 90s. Uh, however, at the time the decision was made to not replace a few windows on the east side of the building and these windows now sorely need replacing and they've been covered with uh, plexiglass since probably the 1980s, which has turned uh, a, a really unflattering shade of butterscotchy something or another. And <laughs> so we think it's time to, to replace these windows for sure while we're working on things. And we have an exterior door that has warped uh, so badly that it is literally beyond repair. Um, the parking lot is, is suffering. Uh, it is in bad need of uh, resealing for sure, if not just a complete and total uh, re-asphalting. Uh, we'll leave that up to the experts, but 
Uh, we've already gone out for some bids and, and some uh, advice on, on the parking lot situation. Um, inside the building, uh, ceiling tile uh, throughout the lower level. Uh, most of it is okay, however, it's not very energy efficient. Uh, there's a lot better uh, grade ceiling tile out there now. A lot of this uh, tile uh, is damaged, has been damaged over the years, mainly because of water leakage, again, uh, because of the failing roof. Um, another issue that could be uh, addressed through this financial campaign is overcrowding uh, in some of our storage areas and also in the uh, genealogy library. The genealogy library is a major draw to the building and uh, we, we are constantly trying to find more space for, for books, genealogies, research materials and, and things like this. So some space conserving shelving could be purchased that would ease a lot of the uh, stress on several of our storage areas both in this building and down at the AME Annex building. Uh, as for exhibits, um, as many of you know, uh, because a lot of you are regular museum visitors, um, our newest exhibit is now about six or seven years old. Um, we would like to upgrade and update all of our exhibits throughout the building. This would require upstairs uh, pretty much re-sculpting the entire, the entire interior of the upstairs from from floor to ceiling. Uh, the, the, the beautiful hardwood floors that are hidden under the carpeting upstairs could be exposed and we would like to do uh, uh, display cases that are custom made and will go pretty much from floor to ceiling and, and utilizing all of the space that is now essentially unusable. So a major project. In the lower level as well uh, we would like to, to re-carpet. We'd like to get matching display cases and just bring everything up to snuff with some appropriate lighting and, and better humidity control for the objects and things like that. Just make it a, a much nicer, more aesthetically pleasing museum on the inside. Again, we have a great facility. Um, we're doing well. However, the time has come. We have not reached out to you, the community, now for 20 years uh, with a major funding campaign and the time is now and we are asking for your help and your consideration in this campaign and we uh, hope to be talking with you soon either privately or maybe in a group setting and, uh, and we look forward to hearing from you about what your contributions might be. Thank you for your time.